In this tutorial, we want to create a 3D pipeline. So I already selected the 3D modeling workspace. This gives me easy access to the most commonly used 3D modeling tools. First off, we're going to draw a polyline to create the path for the pipeline. So in this case, we are going to use a length of 50 units. Turning 90 degrees, we're going to use a length of 60 units. To bend off the edge of the polyline, we're going to use the fillet command. First, you have to type in your radius, which is in this case 8. Press enter, select the first and second entity, press enter again, and you will have a bent line. Because we want to continue to draw a polyline but in the upwards direction, we have to change the UCS. By changing the UCS from world to X, we will be able to draw a polyline in the upwards direction. By right clicking your mouse you will find the quad cursor with the most recently used commands. Here I'm gonna use the polyline command again to draw an upwards polyline. Here I'm opening the quad cursor again to use the fillet command. Using the fillet command again in the intersection of both polylines won't work because they are in different planes, so we will have to find another way to create the band in the polyline. So the first thing we are gonna do is changing the UCS again from X to Y. Next, we are gonna draw a circle with a radius of 5 units. Then we are gonna move the circle so that the circle's edges would touch both of the polylines. The next command we are gonna use is the trim command. You can find this by typing TR in the command bar or by clicking the trim icon in the modified panel. First, you're gonna have to select the entities for trimming. Then you have to select the entity to trim. Now we have one smooth pad to make our pipeline. To create the 3D pipeline, we have to use the sweep command. First, we have to draw a circle with the radius of 4. We will find the sweep command in solid editing in the 3D modeling tools panel. First, select the circle, press enter and then select the path of the pipeline. To finish the pipeline, you will have to do the same thing for the other two parts of the polyline. To get a better idea of how the pipeline will look, I'll select the conceptual visual style from the viewport label menu. Or in this case, I'll choose the shades of grey option. Since we have created our pipeline, we don't need the polylines anymore, so here I'm gonna select the 3D solids that I've made and hide it. After deleting the polylines, I'm going to the quad cursor to show the 3D solids again. The last step is to make our pipeline hollow. The easiest way to do this is to join the three different 3D solids by the command union. Now our pipeline is one big solid instead of three different ones. To make our pipeline hollow, we will have to use the shell command which you can find in solid editing in the 3D modeling panel. You can use this command by selecting the 3D solid you want to make hollow. Then you have to select the faces you want to remove, which are the both ends of the pipeline. After pressing enter, the command will ask you for the offset. In this case, this is 0.5. Press enter again. And just like that, we have made our solid hollow. And this is how you make 3D pipelines in BricsCAD. Thank you for watching.